okay from previous discussion we have concluded that if no change of direction of motion magnitude of displacement is equal to path length or distance suppose if change of direction of motion occurs at least once then displacement magnitude is less than path length that means you can write down displacement is always less than or equal to path length but there is no such case where displacement is greater than path length so you can write displacement magnitude by path length is less than or equal to 1 or path length by displacement is always greater than or equal to 1 next let me introduce two more terms that is average velocity average velocity equal to displacement by time taken for this displacement that is average velocity and average speed is equal to length of the path followed that is path length by time taken for this path length that is average speed as I told you displacement magnitude is less than or equal to path length magnitude that means if time taken is same, I am talking about same motion and uh, for that motion I am calculating displacement and path length. Then the condition is displacement magnitude is always less than or equal to path length magnitude. That means average velocity magnitude is also always less than or equal to average speed. So average velocity magnitude less than or equal to average speed average speed there is no such case where average velocity magnitude is greater than average speed that means magnitude of average velocity is by average speed is less than or equal to 1 